Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Stacked Dimensions, a mod that adds the ability for you to have dimensions stacked on top of each other. It is similar to this mod here, 112. Uh, there is a config you can use, but uh, I'll just try and show it as best as I can with default um, config settings. So, I'm in the nether, for example, I'm at 73. If I just go to Spectator, for example, if I can reactivate it, there we go, we just go up, and obviously if you watch the Y coordinate, you get an idea, and then once we get to a certain point, we've now gone to the overworld, or sort of a stacked aspect on top of the nether, and you can see pretty much where the equivalent of the portal would be in this world, I'm assuming. So, you can access overworld related things there. There's still the typical ores, just once you get down to bedrock, you're then reaching the nether. If you go down to the bottom of the nether, at least for default settings, uh, nothing happens, it's just bedrock. So, you could obviously tweak that yourself if you wanted. Go into the actual overworld itself though and see if this is also possible with just going and reaching the nether. Uh, if this wants to work for me. Hmm. There we go. If we just go into Spectator again, and go all the way down, we'll see if we actually meet the nether. And you can tell that that is the case. Obviously it's not exactly where the portal was, but um, it's now above a ravine, sort of a more open-ended area. If we go back up, you can see we're back at the overworld again. Now if we actually go into the sky, okay, Gast wanted to get through apparently. If we actually go to the sky, we'll see how long it takes if we actually reach the end. Alright, and I'll also go to the end dimension and um, show from that location the actual transition between dimensions that way as well. So we'll see what we reach. Okay, something clearly wanted to there. There we go, now we've reached the end. And I'm assuming there's no islands nearby, possibly. Okay, so there's something there, possibly based on an entrance I've reached. And there's not much else here, so we'll actually go to an end city, for example. And we'll see how far away that is, so quite a ways away. We'll just teleport to that, and then we'll work out the actual way things are stacked, either above in this dimension, which there probably isn't any, as well as obviously dropping down to the overworld again most likely. Just see if there's anything up here. Probably not, but uh, we'll see. So let's reach 256, and nothing. So nothing likely there. Go to creative, drop all the way down to the location we're at, and we'll just go off the island and drop down to the overworld. There we go. 256, and then we'll drop down to an ocean. And if we went underneath again, we'd be in the nether. Now, if you go to the configs, you can see the way things are presented. With for the defaults, obviously the overworld is in the in-between. Below that connects to the nether, and the above connects to the end. When you're in the nether, it connects to the overworld once you reach the 128 height, which obviously is the highest point of the nether unless you use certain other means to extend it past 128, and then obviously once you reach a certain point, the end is obviously above the overworld, and the overworld is obviously below the end. So you can pretty much just order them in a way to make it so that certain connections happen, either at whatever block height it is, or just in general, if it's something like the end and overworld, where they're just mostly a sky, there's no blocks preventing it, then um, you can do that. 
In terms of using other dimensions from other mods, I'm not sure how that would go, but I'm assuming it would be fine just by... If it's a sky-related one, then obviously you can just have it overlap like so. If it's something like the nether where it's a lot more um, covered up with blocks, then you'd have to work out a min and max approach for specifying the top and bottom of the dimension. Uh, other than that though, I think that's about it. Obviously there's a bunch of information here detailing um, how the overworld and nether connect. Mod isn't obviously guaranteed to work on servers. Um, interacting with borders can be slow. Uh, there can be lag. The instructions obviously are in um, config, which you obviously could see at the top here. That's pretty much it. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.